for me, it was about testing whether I, I could get my brain to go to a place that I used to be able to go. And um, I thought I switched off um, when I finished playing, and I probably clarified that point um, because you, you have to get to such a dark place to be able to delve that deep and mentally be that strong. It takes a unique person and a unique individual and athlete that's capable of doing that. Okay, boys, remember learning, so let's go really hard. Three, two, one, go. Follow me in the 22, scroll. The fitter they get, they, they maintain that horrible threshold of, of where they're willing to work but their fitness levels rise, but the threshold rises with it. So they just get through more work. That threshold never changes. They're always willing to push the boundaries. I don't know that many 15s players that are capable of, of getting into that level of zone. I think something does kick in and, and you, know, you, you kick into survival mode a little bit. Even though I was struggling more than everyone else, I think pride becomes a, an aspect as well. And you don't want to, um, I just you don't want to let yourself down too early. Whatever about letting yourself down later on in the session, early on is not the time to do it. So it's about trying to find my way into it and just survive for the first while and then just get to the death zone session and then you know treat that as it comes. You just, you just have to take those in two minute segments or three minute segments and enjoy your break because it's limited. I think the worst part about the session is that when, when you score, that you, then there's an insistence that someone has to take the drop goal, but the rest of the team then has to react to another ball that could be 80 meters up the pitch. And when you realize, the worst part is when you realize you're the closest person at that point to that ball. So the expectation is for you to win the race and you kick off and then you go, and then you, you realize that there's some bigger, heavier men that are coasting past you. And you realize you're not going, you're not traveling fast enough and that your lungs are already burning. These players are different than most. Um, and that's what allows them to get into that horribly dark place where they need to make effort upon effort and they're willing to do that for one another. And I think you obviously build um, the foundations of, of your season at, on, in sessions like today. And yeah, there was no one, there was no one having to get on, on anyone else's back. Everyone was just putting massive workload in. You know when, when you're sucking big ones and you know when your heart rate is right up there, you know, touching up to 190. And again, a big aspect of fitness is how quickly you can, you know, you can control your heart rate in during your rest period. And um, I'm very aware that mine was taking a bit longer to get back to a more functional heart rate of, you know, 100, 120, bring it right down to then have another exertion. Whereas you could see within 15, 20 seconds, um, most of the other players, you know, weren't, weren't blowing this to the same degree. And yeah, that's just a pure natural sign of high levels of fitness versus not so high levels. There's no place in a seven team for dead wood. You can't carry anyone. You just can't afford to carry it, whatever about in your front line, but in your extended squad, you have to have good athletes, but you have to have mentally tough people that want to be there and want to go the extra yard. And if you're carrying passengers, you'll get found out very, very quickly. No one wants to be the weakest link. Everyone wants to be at least middle of the pack and you know try and push to be a, a, a front runner. And, you could tell the energy levels of everyone. There's, there's that push to definitely um, impress the coach and, and impress their peers as well. That's nearly more important, is to get the respect of those around you as someone that's willing to put in massive effort. Oh, 
the reality is, I, I, I couldn't, I couldn't survive with those guys. Um, the ability to get into the, the horrible spot that's left me, that's gone with the retired professional, and it's very hard to reignite that. And as much as you convince yourself that the scope of it is there, the reality is it's not. And um, I wanted to get after it, but I just couldn't. The expectation is that if you're if you're the fittest team out there, um, you're going to be able to, to go the longest, obviously, and you're going to be able to stay in the game the longest, and that can be the difference. The margins between all of these sides is absolutely nothing. And if you can get a little edge one way or another, just from doing sessions like this, well, it'll serve you well.